questions still remain about what exactly happened when Isabel Salas disappeared years ago. As investigators put the puzzle pieces together, K-9 on your side's Craig Smith tells us what they know so far about that tragic night. Friday night, April 20th, five years ago, the Salas family put Isabel to bed about 10 p.m. Saturday morning about 8 a.m., Becky Salas has already gone to work when Sergio Salas calls 911. Hello, I need to report a uh, missing child. I believe she was abducted from my house. Okay, how old? Six years old. Okay, is it your daughter? Yes. Why do you think she was abducted? I have no idea. We woke up this morning. I went to go get her up for her baseball game, and she's gone. I woke up my, my sons. I, we looked everywhere in the house, and my oldest son noticed that her window was wide open and the screen was laying in the backyard. We've looked all around the house. My sons are, okay, running, hang on. Yeah, my sons are running around the house looking for her. Some see signs of guilt in the father's calmness on the phone. Others suggest his manner is a combination of stress and a struggle to stay calm. A neighborhood search does not find the girl. Three days later, the FBI brings in profilers to interview the family. In an interview two years after the disappearance, Sergio Celis resented how investigators focused on the family and said the law enforcement search was just for show. Because if there was a purpose, she should have been found within the first 24 hours. Instead of wasting three days on us. Having us down there for over 12 hours apiece, separating us, doing everything they possibly could to make our lives what that much worse. We just lost our little girl. The parents suggest a family member knows details of the girl's disappearance but is refusing to disclose them. Police reports show investigators found what appeared to be blood on the floor of the little girl's room, shoe prints, and a blood-stained shower curtain. Investigators continue to work about 2,200 leads in the roughly five years that follow with no public word of what they have found until late Friday, March 31st, when Tucson Police Chief Christopher Magnus reports on remains found in a remote part of Pima County. Unfortunately, the results of this DNA analysis did confirm that the remains were those of Isabel Salas. Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.